Good evening. Parts of Sydney's southwest were brought to a standstill today by a fierce fire that took hold of a car wrecking yard at Reevesby. Seven hours on, the fire is still smouldering. Hundreds of cars were incinerated and thick toxic smoke was sent billowing across the region, triggering an urgent health warning. For fire crews, it was a nightmare scenario. A blaze in a yard stacked with hundreds of cars and then whipped up by swirling winds gusting up to 80 kilometres an hour. Look at that. Unbelievable. The emergency could be seen from across Sydney. Thick plumes of black smoke belching from GMS spares at Reevesby, one of the city's largest car wrecking yards. Petrol and LPG tanks littered everywhere became bombs. <laughs> Alex Ogonowski was behind the camera and was almost knocked off his feet. When the explosion came, I was like, oh, I've got to get out of here right now. The fire brigade also had a camera taking us to the front line of their battle. Three men had been working in the yard when sparks from welding equipment are thought to have triggered the fire. One worker had to be treated for minor burns. His two mates suffered smoke inhalation as the compound went up around them. Please get everyone in the house to a safe distance. It wasn't just other factories at risk. Houses were also within reach of the flames and the explosions. The noise was unnerving. It felt like the suburb was under attack. Oh, plenty, plenty of explosions like that. Residents were advised to stay indoors well, the smoke even threatened to force the evacuation of Bankstown Hospital. This fire is actually still spreading. More firefighters and specialist equipment were brought in as the chief summed up the situation. We're in what we call defensive mode. It's too dangerous for firefighters to fight the fire directly. Such challenges made it impossible to get the upper hand, but after a four-hour battle, there was success. Crews confident they'd contained the blaze and saved surrounding buildings. But there was nothing that could be spared in the yard. Vehicles previously damaged in accidents, now destroyed by fire. Damien Ryan, Nine News. Let's go now to reporter Sophie Walsh, who is at Reeves. Ben, Sophie, what's the situation there now? Well, Georgie, as you can see behind...